Over the last 30 years, there's been some quality football shirts up and down the football and ladder, but there's also been some absolute dross. Well, in this video, we're going to try and rank the best ever football shirts coming at you from Brighton Hove Albion. That's right, folks, back once again with another ranking video. Today, we're going to try and rank the best ever football shirts coming at you. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, stop what you're doing, swallow what you're doing, and smash your subscribe button to get your banger today with all things Blackburn Rovers related, football shirts related, tier list related. We've got it all here, boys and girls, under one rooski. That's right. Over the next series of videos, we're going to try and find out what is the best Premier League shirt. So we're going to go through it club by club out in the Premier League, and we'll get to that in just a second. Of course, a big, big shout out to the VIP, Abanda Brothers. I'm talking about the Patreons, boys and girls thank you for your continued support behind the scenes i really do appreciate that and if you are interested in becoming the latest member of that patreon gang check out the link down below but anyway let's get into it of course and take a little look at what i'm talking about so today folks we're going to take a look at a brighton and hove albion of course now again I, I, just like a lot of these ones uh, a lot of these clubs were not in the premier league in the uh, of course inception of the premier league so uh, we're going to look back anyway uh, to about the same the same uh, starting point uh, that the Premier League came into effect. So we're going to go back and, of course, a lot of these shirts were lower league shirts. But guess what? It doesn't matter. I guess even even when you consider them and look at them and, and rate them and rank them, uh, they could still end up being the best shirt for Brighton. So we're going to kick it all off. Let's go. Let's go with the most recent times, of course, with, with the current shirt, which is this bad boy. Now, this is, of course, a Remembrance Day uh, edition of this shirt. And it is a very, very crisp looking blue. I do like it. We're starting off with a very, very good shirt as well. The Nike squash is in gold in but in, in Em embossed em embodied I don't know what it is but anyway I could I could I could feel it even though I'm not there I could feel it and the badge looks very very sharp as well good picture of this someone's even uh, done a bit of a, a good presentation of it as well nice little gold flare down the sides or, or, or yellow flare whatever you want to call it and a good collar as well we started off with a banger here I think this is a good shirt and it's already a potentially a, a top tier shirt that I would say but I'm going to put it in the great one for the time being and have a little look at the next one which was 2019 2020 NHS edition this bad boy um, what do we think about that? This is, this is uh, of course, it's definitely different from from the current season, uh, but it's still a nice looking, nice, nice, like nice sharp looking shirt. I am not the biggest fan though of these these pinstripes. I do like you know striped shirts. That's fair enough. But the, what they've done in here with these with these uh, I don't know little gradients or whatever you want to call it. I don't think it's 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 giving themselves any any credit. And again, the the, the neck. Um, I don't like it. I don't like the neck. I think a, a collar would have been nice. A white collar would have been good, just like the other one. But uh, it's still a good shirt. It's not a terrible shirt. Hey, you know, you've, you've, you've got two decent shirts so far the past couple of seasons. I'm sure we're going to get some real shockers. And I'm sure we're going to get some real bangers as well. But anyway, that's, of course, there. 2018, 2019. Let's have a little look at it then, shall we? Again, plain and simple. Nike, you, 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 you tried and trusted shirt maker. And I think this is, is, a, is a nice, crisp shirt as well. The badge looks good and crisp. Again, the, the stripes are big and chunky and I think everything else looks good the, the sleeves look good as well with the, with the crisp white there's no mucking about here it's pure and simple and that's what I like it uh, a lot so I think this has got some makings as well two really really good shirts at the first three let's go back a bit one more year and again it's Nike uh, this time they've got uh, what year is this 2017 2018 uh, championship year for, for oh, this no it's not in fact, this was the uh, first season in the Premier League for uh, for Brighton 2017-2018. And again, it's a nice looking shirt, American Express as well. Uh, the, the sleeves are let it down. I think the blue should have been more in line with the actual blue and not gone on a little bit of a tangent there. So uh, the collar looks better. I think the, the, the it looks a lot more cleaner. But again, it just looks like two shirts kind of stitched together. So that does let it down. So I'm, I'm going to put that in the good pile. It's, it's still not a really poor, poor shirt in sight. But don't worry, I'm sure they are coming. 2016 2017, the last season in the championship, uh, and again made by Nike. Uh, they've got five years in a row here. Uh, I guess when 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 it's a winning thing, don't change. I think they got stripes here good as well. Look at the sleeves; they look like they're a part of the the whole the whole package. Um, and of course, the collar looks good. It's, it's, it's not the best picture, if I'm completely honest with you, but. Um, uh, the American Express looks a little faded, but again, it's good. Does it does it does it warrant to be great? I don't think so. I'm going to put it in the good tire. I think that's just something lets me down. It could be the poor picture, of, of course, lack of quality. But, hey, it's still a, not a bad shirt. 2000 and 
14 to 2016. Let's have a look at this one then, shall we? Again with Nike and again with the stripes, of course. I'm not complaining about the stripes. The American Express looks a little off, uh, but that's just me. Uh, the little the, the little extra bits on the sleeves are a little bit, um, I don't know what the right word would be, a little bit fancy uh, and a lot not for me. Um, and the neck, neck looks good as well. And, and it's, 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 again, you can't really muck these up. I think this is a good shirt, but is it is it great? Not really. I think it's it's a little bit of a letdown. Uh, and again, we, we can't... Yeah. Right of having are known for their stripes, so, you know, you, you've not done nothing wrong with that. But uh, it's not really captivating. Next up, we have this one, which is a bit of bit, bit much going on. This one, 2013-2014. You know what? This this initially, I thought, you know what? This might be ugly, but it's made by Edia. Uh, of course, America Express this time. So this is the first non-Nike one, and it's uh, it's okay. It's a little bit uh, it's a little bit weird. Um, cause I don't know. I don't I, 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 where where this where the stripes kind of get ch ch chopped off. It looks a little bit funny, if I'm honest. But they're also, it kind of looks like a rugby union shirt, if I'm honest with you here. I do like the little uh, gold flare as well. I think it's a nice touch. It's a good shirt. I'm just trying to have a quick glance at the rest. I'm going to put it in, in the great shirts, if I'm honest with you, because I think we might not be be blessed with the best shirts coming up now. Of course, we're going we're going down the leagues here. We're going down the leagues. It is a little different. And, of course, uh, yeah, fair play, though. Still not a stonker in sight. That was, of course, 2013, 2014, 2011, 2013. Here we go. Bye-bye, Elia, again. Uh, we've got a nice one here. Of course, we've got a bit of local sponsorship as well. Brighton of Hovejobs.com. Badge looks like a little bit of a 3D thing. I do like it. And Elia as well. And again, the stripes look very, very good. And guess what? We've got another Bobby Dazzler here. I do like this one. And, and, and it, it's so much to sew. I'm going to push that one up and I'm going to remove this one because I was not, I was kind of underwhelmed, really. So we're moving that shitty kind of abrupt one. But this one. Uh, the, 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 what is it, 2011, 2013, will stay. 2010, 2011, we might have a bit of a stinker on here. It is this one. Uh, or do we? Or do we? I thought it was going to be shit uh, when I looked at it from a small thumbnail point of view. But now, I think it's got the old badge on there. We like a bit of that. Um, the Marie Curie thing, I think that must have been a, a one-off. I don't know. It's, it's, it's growing on me as I keep on staring at it. I like it. I do like it. And what year was this one? This was 2010, 2011. In League One. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Well. Good looking shirt. Love the blue. Very, very blue. Uh, and again, it's a good shirt. Ah, Brighton, you, 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 you're flattering to deceive here, boys. Uh, next up, we've got 2008, 2010, also in League One. Now we're talking bag of shit, this one. Central, central thing here. Don't like that. The collar looks absolutely ghastly. Um, and I'm finally glad to say that you've got a shit shirt. I'm going to put it straight in the crap one because that one doesn't even bear looking at it anymore. So that one's a shitter. I really is a shitter. Uh, 2006, 2008, though. Let's have a look at this one then. It says skint on there. Uh, it's got the stupid central bloody thing on there, which I don't like. Um, and that's also going to detract its value. I don't like the blue and the stripes look good. This little fine margin here, though, is a little bit off-putting. And that's just me uh, being a little bit... Uh, yeah, I don't know, whatever the word is. Uh, but I'm going to stick it in. It's, it's not bad. It's not horrific, but it's not brilliant. So I'm going to stick it in the OK pile and we move on to 2004, 2006, which also says skint on it, a different kind of blue. And I don't know what the heck of this is all about down here. Oh, this makes me... I don't know if this is a, is this a real shirt because this looks ghastly. The, e, the seagull looks nice. I do like that. It's a nice little quaint little touch. But the rest of the shirt lets you down. The colour's not right. The white shit at the bottom. I don't even know what that is. It's like you. It's like it's like when used to. When I was in the air, the air force, my me old man used to say, "Don't bother ironing the bottom half of your shirt. No one's going to see it." It's like they said, "Let's design this part of the shirt." But let's not bother with this because no one's going to see it. It's going to be tucked in your shorts. But what if you get a rebel like a I don't know uh, who's a rebel for Brighton? I don't know some guy who he says, "You know what? Screw that shit. I want it hanging out. It looks like a bag of shit." And I think that's a crap one. There we go. Another crap one for Brighton. Bag of shite. 2002, 2004, another central uh, cross says skint on it. Another retro kind of badge. And again, a messed up sort of collar. Don't, it's like you're wearing it backwards. It's like you're wearing the shirt backwards, mate. I don't like it. Uh, the colours are good. Nice dark blue. The sleeves are okay as well, but the stat and that let it down. And I think I think we're onto a bit of a we're, we're on, onto a bit of a run here, guys. We need to break this hoodoo of another shit shirt. Sure, that was 2002, 2004, 2000 and 2002. Bit of a collar on this one, and what's going on on here? It's a centenary edition on this one, so you know what? I'll give it a bit. I'll give it a bit of that. I don't like the skint. I, I kind of like the seagulls in the in the fabric. 
it, it should deserve it should be in the crap bin to be fair it does look a little but i'm, I'm gonna give it a bit i'm gonna it, it's not you can't walk walk around town with that on it does look a little bit of an eyesore it's not pleasant on the eye but the centenary thing gives it a bit of weight the skin logo looks shit uh, but that's just that 1999 2000 here we go this looks a little bit modern, if, I, if I'm honest with you. It's, of course, uh, you know, old school. What, what year did I say? 99, 2000. Where were you? Where were you? You were in Division 3, old school Division 3. Um, yeah, it looks good. It looks good. I think this is pretty one of your, one of your better ones. We, we, we've been on the ropes here for a bit. The blue and white looks great. Merely ever as well. Nice what well, they've done. That's all white, that, onto the blue sh the stripe. The next good. It's a decent shirt. I could wear that. I could, whenever, if you get, if a shirt ends up in the great pile... You know, I would actually consider buying one of these shirts and wearing them as a non Brighton Ove Albion fan. I think they are that good. Uh, these ones, you're, you're stretching it. I would never, never really go for one of those. 1998, 1999. Oh, you bastards. I was going to say, this is gonna, this is going to suck ass, but it is an absolute peach. I love it. I love this shirt. Bloody Nora. Donatello. Let's kick ass. Don't even know what that is. It could be ice cream. It could be pizza. It could be the the window cleaner. I don't know, but I bloody love it. Super League sponsor, bang on, love it. Buttoned up thing, blue and white stripes. This is an app. This one already smells like a winner. I don't want to. Don't want to rat. I'm a I'm a retro guy, but that that is class as you can get. Oh, love it. Oh, I love this game. Uh, let's take a look at this one then. Super League again. It's a bit like a Manchester United away one. This one when you first look at it. Sandex. Badges all retro, not the best looking shirt though. I think if we had a better model, it would have looked a little bit more uh, fancy. But uh, it's more weak than it is strong. Um, so we're going to whack this one in the okay pile. It's definitely different uh, than what we've had in the past. It's the final couple here now. We've got uh, 1994 to 1997. Again, looks like Sheffield Wednesday. And I do like this one as well. Old school, lovely, crisp blue and white stripes. You've got a nice little flash on the, a little badge on the uh, side here. You've got Admiral, nice and tight, red, Brighton of Albion badge. It's a good shirt. I like it. I am a, yeah, I, I just, there's something about the old shirts for me. Okay, we might have a zinger on here, a bad zinger. This is a, much on your eyes, guys. Much, I don't know what, I don't know about this. Ooh, what's this? 93, 94? Where were you? Were you do yeah, you were in uh Division 2, old school Division 2. This one is a bit much. I, I love I love there are bits of this I do love. I love this transparent logo. I do love that. Sandex, I do like that. Don't even know what that is. Rivera, Ribena, I don't know what that is. Button up thing, it's good. But this hurts my pissing eyes. It hurts my eyes just look I I I'm gonna have to put it in the crap bin, boys. But there are some elements that I do like about it. Into the final shirt now, 1991, 1993. What have we got? A winger or a zinger? We have an autographed one. Uh, Ry Ribieria. Um, it's a good shirt. TSB buttons. Again, transparent. Much better. Uh, much more smaller, finer. Uh, well, uh, chunkier, sorry, should I say, stripes. It's a good shirt. That's all I'm going to say. Good. It's not It's not great. Um, the, the, I wish I had one without the autograph on it, but it's fine. I think we're good. I think we're, we're, we're in good shape here, boys. Uh, and when we take a look at this, now we're going to take a look at these two, four, six, seven shirts. And of course, come up with that, with the, the elite, the elite shirt. And if I'm completely honest with you, is it going to be an obvious choice? I think the Donatello one is up there. We'll, we'll put that in there. That was the Sandex one here was also very, very good. I do like this Brighton of Albion one as well. The Hove Jobs. I think I think out of the seven, those three would be my, con my my contenders. But really, when I did see it, there was only one winner, and that was this bastard right here, the Donatello. I think this is just class. The blue, everything, everything about this uh, rings supreme for me. I think it's it's got lovely button up neck, uh, lovely collar, blue and whites look great, and a strange Super League sponsor. The badge looks good. The Donatello sponsor. I think it's a fantastic looking shirt. And you know what? I think if we do ever do a, uh, an elite one and take the winners from each and every one of the Premier League clubs, this one will be a very, very difficult one to beat. Anyway, that's what I think about Brighton shirts. Make, 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 make sure you let me know your opinions in the old comment section down below. There you have it, folks. There you bloody have it. Do you agree or disagree with my rankings of those football shirts? Let me know in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, check out the description. The links to my other social media platforms are in there. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitch as well. And if you want to support me in another way, you could visit the old Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash overseas. But of course, yes, we're going to be doing a lot of these over the next few days. So make sure you check them all out by bagging the old... Th 
uh, subscribe and of course hit the little bell so you don't miss a beat. And while you're at it, give the video a big old whap, that thumbs up to of course boost it in the old algorithm. But that's it, my friends. That's all I've got for you until then. I'll see you all next time for some more rankings and hopefully your shirt will be next. <laughs>